Let's talk all things bloat. Because let's face it, none of us really like feeling bloated and we don't enjoy walking around feeling as if we have a balloon in our belly. So today I'm going to share some habits you may be doing that is causing you to get more bloated and more frequently. So bloat is uncomfortable. I say that from experience because I suffered with gut health issues my entire life. Um, thankfully, I was able to heal my gut health. Um, it has been, it's never uh, been stronger, um, but it did take time and it does take time and it does take patience. And sometimes you don't know what you don't know. So some of our daily habits can actually increase the bloated feeling. And I wanted to share some of the common habits that I see people doing that leaves them feeling uncomfortable. So the first thing is snacking. Do you find yourself going through your entire day picking on small foods and not eating whole food meals? Because if you find yourself not eating whole food meals and just picking throughout the day, you will notice that you will actually feel more bloated. Because first you snack on a handful of nuts, then you snack on a piece of dark chocolate, then you grab a few wheat thins from the box, and then maybe you have a string cheese from your fr fridge. That's what I see a lot. Um, and those are not meals, those are snacks. So not only are you not eating enough, but you're most likely picking on snacks that aren't necessarily whole food meals. They're higher in fats, they're higher in carbs, with very little, if not any protein. So if you find yourself snacking often, you want to replace that with smaller meals, making sure you have a balanced amount of protein, carbs, and fats on your plate. And the second thing you want to do is and what most people are doing is they're not eating greens. So we all know greens and veggies are good for our health, but they're particularly actually good for um, improving our gut health. So a lack of greens can cause some gut health imbalances, which also causes more inflammation when we're not getting enough, which turns into more bloating. So you want to make sure you're getting in the right amount of greens, the right amount um, of vegetables to help you reduce the bloat. And lastly, the most important one, in my opinion, uh, is eating majority processed and packaged goods. That will absolutely cause your, your stomach to feel more full, leave you bloated and more inflamed. And I can sit here and I can give you a list of ingredients and food items to stay away from if you wanted to reduce bloat. But to simplify it, if you just cut out processed and packaged goods to a minimal to start, with just that small change, I promise you will notice a huge difference. It will force you to eat more whole foods like lean proteins and fruits and veggies and whole grains rather than the high fructose corn syrup, the white flours, the hydrogenated oils that are destroying your gut health. So not only is bloating uncomfortable, but if you're constantly bloated, that means you have some gut health imbalances that need to be addressed. And without the proper gut health, it'll be very hard for you to lose weight effectively. So to piggyback off that a little bit from what we discussed yesterday, some of the missing links to weight loss that some people kind of turn a cheek from is making sure your gut health and your hormones are in a healthy balance. If they're not, you can actually be held up from your fitness goals, which leads you down a path of just not becoming healthy and not being able to lose weight. So if you are someone who is bloated constantly, you feel as if these are some habits you actually adapted over time, I highly suggest trying to get rid of them for a week. See how you feel. I can assure you that you will feel much different in just a week. So if you liked this video and you found it to be valuable, please comment, like, and share below. Share with a friend tomorrow. I'm actually super excited to share something with you. I watched an incredible podcast and it really sparked so many things that I really wanted to share with you um, and also wanted to share a testimony that I actually never really shared before. So it actually all revolves around why your negative mindset could actually be destroying your health and your progress. So I look forward to seeing you there tomorrow. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys soon.